places I long to see. Well, with my champagne taste and your beer bottle pockets. Don't forget to write me when you get there in your rowboat. When you paddle across the sea without me. <laughs> Do you see us dining on caviar and pheasant with descendants of royalty? Well, with my champagne taste and your beer bottle pocket, I'll be having pheasants while you're dining with the peasants, dunking donuts in a diner without me. You said you have ambition to make my dream come true. Well, brother, you just keep right on wishing and all of my dreams will come true without you. Do you see me in a Jaguar with all the accessories and one of those accessories is you? <laughs> well, with my champagne taste and your beer bottle pocket, Take back your Jaguar, accessories, etc. and drive back into your dreamland without me. <laughs> and if I wanted diamonds, you'd offer me breakfast at Tiffany's and luncheon at Cartier's, you'd recommend. Well, with my champagne taste and your beer bottle pocket, you will have to work on something better than a zircon, because your diamonds are this girl's worst friends. <laughs> you said you'd promise me anything to make my life a feast. You didn't give me anything. Not even our page, you beast. And it wouldn't surprise me if a lady like Godiva had someone like you to give it a stall. But with her champagne taste and your beer bottle pocket, when she couldn't get those dresses, she just let down all her tresses and forgot she was the lady of the rock. <laughs> So if you want me to be a part of your permanent employee, before my champagne fizzles, come up with a real McCoy. Show me you can separate the man from the boy. Bring me a constant life of champagne taste. Otherwise, the laundromat. <laughs> Candy, you were supposed to be on fucking stage, you silly old cow. You've got to look. You've got to forgive her. She's an Asian showgirl. She's a woman of. It's hard to believe, but Candy's a woman of 38 years of age. Yes, it's true. I'm not a liar. She's 38. I think it's quite fantastic to look like 38. And I think you're fucking fantastic. Make some noise for Miss Candy! Now look, come on, I know it's been a, a wonderful Christmas night tonight. I'm actually having the best time. But I haven't chosen the lucky man to take me home. Not yet anyway, Miss Candy, and never give up hope on Christmas. Well, I have got these two. Well, there's a couple of good looking young men. They're as good looking young men as you'll ever have, Miss Candy. In some places they call it but high pie. But I do like cleanliness. In that case, they're out of action. Talking about young, talking about gorgeous, talking about clean, she's all the above mentioned. Well, as much as I know anyhow. She's a darling, she's here every Friday night. She's a hostess and boilers and she is a sweetheart. A talented one to boot. Please make some noise for the gorgeous. 
Yeah. No, I fucked that right up, haven't I? Connie, you might fuck that up. She's not young. She's not fucking gorgeous. She's a fucking old scrag and we hate her. We hate her. But we love her in a funny, spooky sort of a way. You know who I'm talking about. My longtime partner in crime. They're very talented. One of the original girls I'm talking about. Miss Rita La Coquita. Make some fucking